Now, global financial market infrastructure is currently facing both an existential threat and an opportunity to transform due to recent advances in new technologies like DLT, blockchain and digital assets. Well, the global institutional capital markets require the highest standards of regulation, trust and security in order to operate efficiently. Six, Switzerland's infrastructure provider, is pioneering the move into blockchain-based infrastructure and institutional digital assets by building a fully digital market infrastructure called Six Digital Exchange. Well, Tim Grant is the head of Six Digital Exchange and he now joins us from New York. So, Tim, a very good day to you. There's been a lot of talk about SDX over the past two years, but how far has it progressed? Well, Juliet, this is uh, this is a long journey. Uh, you know, we started that at Six Group two years ago, in the knowledge that this was going to be you know multi years uh, and and arguably decades to get the kind of change that we're looking for. So the first two years were very focused on uh, building a foundation, and that foundation really has two key key elements. One is the the technology, the actual infrastructure itself, and and it's important to recognize that a lot of what we're doing in building this new infrastructure is indeed new. It's, it's, it's never been done quite like this before. Uh, so that's taking time. But uh, the good news is we've really now gotten to a point where we've, we've created that strong foundation. The other part that we focused on is regulation. Um, as you pointed out, uh, the institutional capital markets really require that safety, that comfort, um, that regulation is there. We've been working with FINMA the Swiss regulator uh, on getting an exchange in CSD licenses specifically for digital assets. Uh, I'm glad to say that that's also progressing well. So here we are two years into the six digital exchange story with a platform, with the regulation coming. Hopefully we're aiming for Q1 of next year. Now we get to move to the next part, which is the exciting part, which is building marketplaces. And Tim, following on from that, what is, what is your vision for SDX? Well, uh, it's interesting. You, you, the, the old adage says, if you build it, they will come. I'm not so sure that's true in this digital asset space because this is new types of assets, uh, albeit tr traditional structures, debt and equity. That hasn't changed. We're still going to have those sorts of assets. But digital assets is, a, is effectively a, a kind of a new asset class. Um, and so what we really need to do is, is create a global liquidity pool. That's our vision. Um, and that's what's set out from our board of directors uh, going back to our beginnings two years ago, can we ultimately create global digital market infrastructure that connects not just Switzerland, but other jurisdictions? Another, our new home turf is now Spain. We've just bought the BME in 2020, uh, so we can anticipate that we might operate there, but we need to look beyond that to Asia, to North America, and, and the rest of Europe. So for us, it's it's not just creating one marketplace, it's, it's global liquidity uh, that really is going to give the institutions what they're looking for. Uh, and that's going to take a number of years. But that, that's the vision we're aiming for. And let's follow on from that, because we know that the global institutional digital, digital asset marketplace is only just beginning. So how do you think SDX will play a role in igniting liquidity for this sector? Well, that is the big uh, multi-billion dollar question. Uh, how, do you, how do you start a marketplace when it's, when it's new like this? We've got a lot of willing... Uh, institutional participants around the world, um, little groups of fragmented efforts, which all have accrued to advances. Uh, and we see that the whole institutional space around the world now really getting behind central bank digital currency, digital assets, and the infrastructure required. What's been missing is, is that ignition point, which is a really, truly institutional, regulated uh, uh, exchange in CSD. And that's precisely how we, uh, we plan to kind of ignite the market uh, as we come to market next year. We will be that first trusted, secure, regulated venue to come and start building liquidity. But make no mistake, we know this will take time. We'll see some interesting activity next year, but the really exciting progress will be over the years after that. What about SDX's role in establishing CBDC, Tim? You're, you're of course, working together uh, with the SNB. Uh, how's that proceeding? Well, this is really crucial, uh, Johnny, that the, the, the whole premise of digital assets kind of requires the DVP. We talk about DVP a lot, digital asset versus payment. Uh, and the PLA really requires stable coins or central bank digital currency. 
um, in order for us to really get all the benefits that we know we can harvest with this uh, with this new approach. For us, we're in a very fortunate position. Six Group operates the payment rails for the Swiss National Bank within Switzerland. And what that means is um, we already have a very strong relationship. So we formed a natural partnership with the Swiss National Bank and the Bank for International Settlements to work on actually demonstrating how this would work. And, and the holy grail for everyone, uh, the, the central banks, as well as the institutions and the FMIs like us, is actually wholesale issuance of central bank digital currency. So a, a central bank finally making that big step forward, making that big leap um, and, and getting policy changed. And that's exactly the direction we're heading in with the SNB. Uh, tremendous partnership. Uh, we've shown some really excellent results so far. I look forward to publishing a, a public paper later this year in December to outline what we've done. But more importantly, to outline where we're going. What is the roadmap? to actual wholesale CBDC issuance. It's the big topic around the world. Uh, and we're hoping to be really on the, on the front edge of that for the industry. Well, that leads to the next question, really, because we know that SDX is partnering with the likes of Visa, Microsoft and other companies. And obviously, the objective is to drive the adoption of standards. But given that, what vision do you have for the ecosystem of tomorrow? And how will these different alliances fit together in that concept? So I think there's there's two elements, Juliet, on that one. One one is uh, we're all trying to uh, make sure we get to adopt standards sooner rather than later because we all know that's what allows us to really move faster. Um, the problem is no good standards were ever put together by people sitting around a table talking about it. You actually have to get out there and and, and really start engaging in the marketplace. Um, so standards important and, and six digital exchange and six have been uh, very early to support the uh, Interwork Alliance, which is a new organization which we set up uh, in the last couple of months where we want to invite all institutions, whether it be financial and non-financial, to come together and actually uh, in a non-denominational way really agree on and, and start using standards. So that's the first piece of the puzzle is standards. The second piece of the puzzle is, and you mentioned Microsoft as a great example you know, we need to think as financial services uh, uh, infrastructure providers uh, beyond just our own borders. We need to think beyond the silos that have been created until now. And that means looking beyond jurisdictions. It means looking beyond you know, business and technology divides, which still, unfortunately, are a lot there. But it also means looking across industries. So it's really important that we think about technology companies like Microsoft and IBM. We think about uh, manufacturers around the world who also are going to start to engage in this new infrastructure in a different way. And we, we really, that, that level of partnership is going to create a new ecosystem. We don't know what that ecosystem is going to look like. Nobody has a crystal ball. But the one thing we know is we have to partner across the board and across different industries to get there. Uh, and that's very much what we're, we're driving towards as well. OK, and it's a fascinating journey, but Tim Grant, we'll have to leave it there. But thank you so much for, for joining us and enjoy the rest of Cybos Week.